what's going on everyone this is going to be my windows 8 first look slash you know first use slash overview video i'm going to uh, go in the operating system click around and show you guys a few things in case you haven't seen it already i'm sure you have but this is just going to be sort of my spin on it as i'm clicking through things i'm going to tell you guys what i think about it maybe what i'd like to see and um, that's going to be pretty much it for this video it's not going to be like a full tour of the operating system but i'm just going to go through a few of the, the major things that are going on in my head when i look at windows 8 and tell you guys what i think about it so using parallel 7 i'm going to go ahead and start up the developers preview so while this boots up i'm going to go ahead and full screen this using parallel 7's very nice uh, full screen and i will say right off the bat that i do not have the correct graphical drivers installed I do get the full resolution, you know, uh, 1080p, 1920 by 1080. However, things are kind of slow, they glitch, you know, things like that. I mean, they're not as smooth as it should be. You know, it's sort of like a wave there that just kind of glitched in. And that's just through, um, through to the um, virtual machine. I have installed Parallels tools, but last time I did that, I just got a black screen. And so I had to completely reinstall. So if you ran, if you run into this problem, please tell me what you did, because I'd rather have a glitchy OS than a black OS. Um, but if you have found a solution for that, I would like to hear it, so go ahead and post that in the description below if you have one. And this is the main screen you'll see once you start up Windows 8, and I have to say it's very tablet-like. It does look very cool, but the problem I have with it is that this is not a tablet. And I know you could say that for a lot of things about Mac OS X, but the difference is, I believe, you know, that you can disagree with me. But I think what Microsoft is trying to do is what Apple did successfully. You know, they're trying to bring the mobile world sort of in up to date with the uh, desktop world and uh, the way Apple did this was through gestures not really a tablet OS and so to demonstrate that I have my magic trackpad here and you know there's very simple gestures that do a lot of things like switch full screen applications I could see every application you know things like that I could even do a, a very big mobile feature for the iPad and the iPhone which is Launchpad I can go in and scroll through between all my uh, various pages of applications and the difference between this and what Microsoft did is that those those features supplement the desktop OS, they don't replace it. What Microsoft did was they took the tablet OS and sort of replaced the classic Windows. And yes, you can get to the normal desktop from here, but when I click a start button, I'm used to seeing Windows Search, I'm used to seeing, you know, just um, different locations, but now I have, in order to get to Explorer, I have to go to here. Now one thing I did figure out is that they kind of take um, screen corners and what they do is when you move to the bottom left by the start button they bring up you know the Windows search share devices so they have different things like that but you know I'd rather instead of get a little thing like that I would rather have you know the start menu with everything with different locations you know my computer network my, my documents and then you can have you know the top opened applications there um, if I click that I just go to here and it's just a whole new interface, you know, rather than the traditional desktop, you have a whole new interface that you really can't get around if you don't like it. Some people will love this, you know, some people will be glad that Microsoft brought this to the desktop. But, you know, for me personally, I'll take this format any day, you know, the desktop OS with the mobile features that supplement the desktop, not replace it. So coming back to Windows Explorer, I'll go ahead and open it up here, is one thing I really don't like is all this garbage up here. Um, on, if I, you know, I have a 24 inch monitor and it's not a big deal, but if you're on a laptop with a 15 inch screen, all this stuff up here that I'll probably never end up using which just takes up too much screen real estate of that little uh, Windows Explorer window. But um, one thing I do like about it is you have the option to hide it right here. You know, that's beautiful, that's perfect, that's exactly what I want. You know, I don't want to have all this, you know, jumbled up here like someone just kind of threw it up there. If you look at a Mac OS X Finder window, they have options up there, but they're with, they're just one button and from there you can do other things. That looks so much nicer than to just have everything garbled up there. I mean, there's not even really any order. You have your cut, copy, paste here, but then you have like move to and delete. It just doesn't look very nice, so I do like that. Uh, Microsoft has included the feature where you can just hide it. You can minimize it like it's not even there. I like that. So now we'll just look through some of the you know the built-in applications like weather. You can see sort of the glitching animations there, like I said, due to my graphical issues. But um, this is very nice. You know, I like having um, just an application dedicated to weather. Now, granted, on OS 10, you know, you have widget, but you know, there's, that's not really detailed. I mean, and, and this honestly isn't that accurate at times. Like right now, um, it's definitely not a thunderstorm outside. It's you know, it's beautiful outside. So, uh, depending on where it gets its weather from, it, it's just not that accurate. But I mean, even just as far as user interface, that's very simple, but it doesn't show you a lot. And this is actually pretty accurate. There's some clouds outside, it's sunny, 
And now something I, that Windows 8 does that I actually kind of like is the way that you sort of uh, switch applications. So for example, say I'm at the desktop and I have an Explorer window open and you know, I'm just browsing my hard drive and then I decide that I want to go into you know, another application, let's say alarms. And you know, I could be adding an alarm and then, um, oh crap, I forgot, you know, I want to go back to Explorer. That Explorer window is still open and let's say I go back to my alarms that add an alarm is still here. So your applications are preserved in the background, which is nice. But um, I, th I still think I'd rather have like, you know, the OS 10 spaces. I just think like, you know, you have a, like, a live preview of stuff that's open, like without yet even having to switch to the application, I can see what it's doing. And so I do think that is a little more efficient than this. You know, this is kind of just clicking a lot of buttons to do what you want to do. But it does work, and the fact that they have maintained, you know, multitasking is nice. But, you know, like I said, considering that this is a desktop, you know, it really should do that. So I'm going to take you through a uh, control panel real quick. And this is very um, Android, Windows Mobile, iOS-like. Um, just different little things like notifications, like these little switches here. Very, very mobile platform-esque, I guess you could say. Um, more settings just takes you into control panel from here. You can also access the control panel right from um, your main, I guess, desktop. Maybe I'm not sure what to call this, but uh, control panel. You just have different things like networking, and so really that's all I can really think of to show you guys. Um, it, they are taking mobile features, however, I just don't think they're doing it the best way that they could. People that don't like this really don't have a choice. I mean, maybe there is an option somewhere that I'm missing, or maybe in that final OS they'll include a feature where if you don't like this, you don't need to use this. But um, right now, I'm not sure if I like this at all or not. Like, I would definitely be sticking with OS 10. It's just a cleaner interface. It has, it does more of what I want it to do. And um, one thing I do like about Windows 8 though is that it's completely new. Microsoft is finally taking a new direction, and I really like that. So um, I know this is by no means the final product. I don't mean to sound biased or anything here, but um, I do have to say that I like the way OS 10 functions a lot better. It just better suits me. It might better suit you, and you might like this whole new interface. But um, people that have used Windows for a long time, you know, like older people, they're not going to like this at all. You know, they just want to boot up their computer and see a desktop. You know, they can have um, shortcuts on their desktop and not necessarily shortcuts to applications like this. And I'm not quite sure how you would add this to this, like an application to the screen. But that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys for this video. So if, if you have any questions about Windows 8 or anything I think about it, go ahead and hit me up on Twitter. I'm at CPUKid. Um, I try not to sound, you know, biased or anything in this. You know, Windows, I, Microsoft is doing a lot of great things with Windows 8. Like I said, I'm glad to see that they're finally doing something different. It's not what Windows has always been. You know, they are doing something different. And I definitely give them props for that. And there are a few things throughout the OS that I like. But the whole overall OS... I'll be sticking with OS 10 just because I don't like this interface. This is too tablet for me. If I wanted this interface, I would buy a tablet. So um, that's pretty much it. Like I said, so any questions, you know how to get at me. Thanks for watching. Real quick before you guys click that back button or you close out your browser window, I do have a giveaway going on. If you want to learn on how you can enter that, go ahead and click the little uh, video right there, the annotation. I'll take you on the details of my giveaway. If you want to go ahead and watch what I'm giving away, let me give you a, a demo of it. Go ahead and click the video on your left, my right, that's right over there somewhere. And that'll give you all the details, you know, exactly what you can win. And if you're just kind of bored or you just found me on, my, on YouTube and you sort of like my videos, if you want to see some other content over on my left, your right, I have have a video of my solid state versus hard drive video so go ahead and check those three videos out in case you're interested and thanks for watching